Welcome back, everybody, for part 35 of our Realm of Thrones Let's Play for Lord Valaris Blackfire. In this episode, right off the bat, we're going to be besieging the Great Fortress of Storm's End, cutting off the head of the proud stag. We will not lose to these Baratheon scums. None of them, all of the scums, will fall. Mounted archers, says Lord Valaris, on a battlefield with no mounted units. Alrighty. So we've got breaches in the walls already. I am actually going to move the army right up. Up here. Come on, lads. Get on up there. Get on up there. And then I can command them to auto-march as soon as I get up here. Although this is kind of weird that it's not already split into two groups. Yeah, look, 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 look. Let's just do that. Right, right, that's a better way of doing it. This squadron here. Second squadron of infantry over here. They will charge this area. They will charge this area. Alright, let's do this, boys. Alright, you. No, you. F6. You lot. F6. Infantry! Go in there! Ah. Uh, I like my new horse, guys, but it just doesn't feel the same. Where have all the good Bessies gone, and where did Bessie fall? Oh. See, this one doesn't even take hits like a champ. We'll leave it here. Bessie the second. Wait, hold on. It's a lame Wadar Hotblood. Bessie was a Wadar Hotblood, which means Bessie survived the battle. Boys, Bessie didn't die. Bessie! Now I know why you can't take a hit. You're lame. How lame of her. Woo! I got you, Bessie. I will defend you with my life. No one will harm Bessie again. Go on, peek me. Peek me. You want to. Woo! Someone else was playing the peak game with him. Alright, let's get our Dornish and Targaryen and Essosi, I guess, soldiers, up through this breach. I can't see what's happening due to the absolute sheer amount of units that are in my face. Ah, oh, come on. Let me up, boys. Let your king in. I have proven many times that I am far worth more worthy of combat than most of you. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I wish to come through the gate. Let me in. Either you guys move forward, or I, or get out of my way. Come on. There we go. You just got to wiggle through the gaps. Look, you just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, yeah. Shove them up. Shove them forward. That's the way to do it. Now that I'm up here with a bow, try and do some damage. Bam. One there. Bam. One there. Ah! I will best every man here. No one is a match for the great Valaris Blackfire. Hopefully, being able to take Storm's End should give us exactly what we need to be able to sufficiently break the enemy. And by break them, I mean, you know, force their units to pay more attention over here not charge at our own keeps and let us open up the way, the path even, to King's Landing. Never before has Lord Valaris been closer to his goal than now. For it's a simple march along the King's Road, and we will be there. Ah, oh, they're pushing us back, boys. What is this? The sheer ability of these units to push back my elite guard. Come on, men. Hack them down. Channel your inner lumberjacks. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I kill the storms and then I take it for pay. Fall, fool. Take them down, boys. They're shield-walled. They're shield-walling here and I don't like it. It's proving to be a problem. Hack them down, chop them to bits. 
Heavy crossbowmen down. They committed their archers to this fight already. Most of their force has been completely slaughtered. We still have a lot of men. Them pushing out here has actually given us the advantage. It's turned what was their defensive position into our defensive position. And now they're running out of troops to push us with. They still have some down there, but I think our men on the far right have already won. Just due to the amount of men that are over here. The enemy has committed far more men to this side than they did the other side. Get in there, Dario Naharis. If you ever want to get with uh, Danny, you're going to need to be braver than that. Get in there, fool. Hack him down, lads. Give me my bow. Oh, here's the flank. We've got reinforcements here. I'm going in. Hey, Daddy-o. No hard feelings, right? Missed the battle. I don't really want an axe to the back of the skull for shoving poor Dario Naharis off the wall. Come on, boys. We will break through. They are faltering. Keep hitting them back. That's it, men. Break their lines. Encircle their forces. Excellent. We've done it, boys. We've broken through. And this guy is really unlucky. Come here, buddy. Where do you think you're going? No retreat. Guys. Hey, guys. Can someone open this gate for me? I got lucked out. Help. I'm stuck. Oh. Victory! For the great house of Blackfire. And there you have it, men. The great city of Storm's End has fallen. Alright, now I'm going to drop off a few of our units here. We're going to get rid of this, this. All of our sort of weaker units I'm going to drop. And we'll hold on to this reserve. We'll show mercy. I don't care if they don't like me. We are showing mercy. Alright, manage the town. I'm going to assume, yeah, because it's the capital, it's already basically built up as much as it can be. Alright, allow our men to march in and do their thing. Y'all are helping them, right? Like, our men aren't losing that. Oh, they are losing that. How interesting. If you please, stop there. I would ask you for your name. Ah, a relative of Sir Barristan Selmy. Sir, you sort of picked the wrong group to attack. My army's just here, and your ass is capturing my dudes. I don't appreciate it. We've freed our allies. Always nice. We can also restock our own units, thanks to our allies' sacrificial attack. There we go. Dornish Prince Guard, Dornish Vipers, Water Guard and Sentinels. Dothraki Mounted Bow Lord. Very nice. Huge. Alright. Grab some more loot. Very good. And I'm not getting... I'm not swapping this lame horse out either. I'm keeping Betsy. She may be injured, but she is still the same Betsy we once fought alongside. Alright, we're going to keep the commanders. Take me to the keep. Dungeon. Manage prisoners. I would like to take all of these guys out. Because there's so many prisoners here, dude. Like, look at all of them. There's 968 prisoners. That's bigger than my entire army. And then we're just going to get rid of them all. Who holds that many prisoners? What sort of sadistic beast would have that many prisoners? That's just not okay, man. Not okay at all. Tharos, if you attack any of my men, I will absolutely slaughter you. He's going to. Ah, Tharos, you fool of a took. Owner of Storm's End. Dario Naharis. These guys don't like me no matter what I do, so I'm not giving them anything. 
Dario Naharis, he seems to like me. He fought well in the battle. I saw him myself. We will give this land to Sir Dario Naharis. If I had Barristan sell me in here, I'd give it to him. Um, I don't need to do much. We'll just, we'll quick resolve that. Because it's not much of a battle. Take these prisoners so we can sell them back to their homeland. It's not cruel if I'm sending them home, okay? It may be slavery. And, it, but it's not long-term slavery. See, oh, I just sold all of my prisoners. I just got rid Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes those lords. Oh, no, I put them in the cave. It's all good. It's all good. Don't even worry about it. All right. Take our 700 men. And march on the castle of Bronzegate, maybe. Bronzegate, Fellwood, they'd both be good ta good castles to hold for our inevitable war with the Westerlands to claim the Great Castle and the Iron Throne. We must take King's Landing. It is vital. Because this is a castle, I'm not going to bother with 10 million tons of siege equipment, so I'll see you guys once our uh, siege ladders are constructed. Alright, men. Our fellow warriors approach. Betsy has brought me to the wall. She has run away, but she did bring me here. Oh, no, there she is. Good on you, Betsy. Taking the initiative. Wah. And we are pulverizing the enemy with our arrows. Now, they do have four catapults, which is mildly intimidating. I'm not going to lie. But the enemy does also appear to be getting absolutely wrecked by arrow fire. So much so that I can't see many archers left on this side. I'm being shot at from the other side, but there's not many archers in here. Where they at though? Where they where they at though? Where they at though? Where they where they at though? Oh, there's one. Fear me, for I am superior. In every way. Hi there! Oh, our battering ram actually made it to the gate, dude. Not expecting that. I got you, boys. I will assist in the chopping down of this gate. Good hits. Palpable hit. Excellent work, lads. It's almost down. One more hit. Good work. Now we destroy the inner gate. The inner sanctum, if you will. The enemy archers up on high being a problem, as one might expect. Oh, nasty. That guy's trying to throw a rock at me. Not having it. Waiting for this rock thrower to come back. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's back, he's back. Haha, we interrupted his rock throwing. Alright, boys. The time has come. To have a good old hack and slash at the gatehouse. Can they hold us? Of course they can't. We are far superior in number and quality. Hit them hard, lads. The enemy does have archer superiority firing at us. Not to mention their crossbowmen on the flanks and the guys throwing rocks. All of which are really not appreciated for this attack. Stop throwing rocks at me. If I can continue making them waste rocks, we might be in business. You! Stop that! Whoa! He almost bashed my brains in with that rock. That would not have been great. The archer fire we're taking from up there isn't great either. The enemy's got less than half their force remaining. And 
and we are kind of stuck in this gatehouse. It is an absolutely awful position to be stuck in, but we are stuck here. Come on, men, push forwards. Have no fear. Cut them down. I have died to many an arrow. Don't worry, you simply respawn. I've heard that that's what it's like in medieval warfare. If you die, you just respawn. Don't worry about it. Get in there. Good job, lads. Now push to the archers. Yeah, I'm going in the gatehouse. That feels like a good call. Ow. No matter what I do, I get hit by arrows. You need to go down. You bums with the rocks are really annoying me. Right. Uh, there's a barricade there. Alright, climb up here. Clear the top of the gatehouse. Very important area, area to be clearing. Finish them, lads. Finish them. Our men broke through over there. The enemy has archers up on high over here. Annoyingly, I don't actually know if my men are able to get up. Oh, they can get up there. What do you know? Good work, lads. Move position. And he has archers way up there. Can I hit one? Not there. How about there? Nah, not hitting him. Not a chance. Oh, up there, though. They have noticed me. Whoa, whoa. Man, my shots... My shots are very inaccurate. Their shots... Their shots are borderline scary. Ow! You want some of this? Huh? You want some of this? Whoa. Man, they have men way over there in those towers. That's spooky. And I can't get down from here without killing myself anymore. Ah, victory! The next phase of my plan? Get my soldiers to get me down from here somehow. Victory, men. Victory. Ah. Grab some prisoners to send home. And, uh, we're going to show mercy. It's annoying people, but I really don't care. I give them castles. What do they really have to be annoyed about? All right. If it wasn't for me, they'd have nothing. Oi, Nemos. You just out here taking down caravans like that, my guy? That's messed up. Maybe we can take Fellwood and Haystack Hall. If we can take this area... Oh, wait, no. Selwyn Tarth's army is attacking the Bronze Gate. How many men does he have? 563. I have more. And I can call more that'll take not very long to get here. Come on, boys. Get back in the f in the army. In the army. Join me. You guys really shouldn't have attacked. Alright. Get upgrades onto our men. Make sure everyone is in tippy-top fighting shape. Drop all the armor we can for a further 8,000 experience. Huge. Nice. Alright. Now. Now we can engage in battle. Against the great house of Baratheon. And their fearsome warriors. Very fearsome knights, I'll give them that. Now, our infantry corps. We don't have many infantry, I'm not going to lie. Although, damn, that is a really nice defensive position. I, I'm a sucker for a good defensive position. Problem being, I have way too many men to successfully utilize that. And that also. Oh, actually, maybe I could utilize this. I think I can make use of that. You guys there. You guys form up here. 
It's a very, like, light formation for my infantry, but I like it. The enemy has not many, not many cavalry. I'll give, I'll, I'll mention that. Right, cavalry on either side. The enemy are probably not going to come to us. They're probably going to fall back, to be totally honest. And if they do, I'll march my forces to them, and I'll just uh, cut that bit out for you guys. The enemy's horse archers moving forward, preparing to be absolutely obliterated. Holy Jesus! That was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, look at all the arrows. Alright, archers, get down here and collect your damn arrows. Infantry, break your shield wall. Get up here. My army needs to be moving up on them. I will cut you guys until my archers are back in range and the enemy army is engaging us in combat. Alright, men. We have swung around to the enemy's rear, forcing them to advance. Our soldiers prepared to hold the line as instructed. Our cavalry prepared to crush the enemy archers. Get in there, lads. Time to cause some real damage. Revenge for all the times I've died to an archer. Ah! No archer will best me this time. I, I really got to stop saying that. That's how I die to archers. Challenging them. When there's like 80 of them and I'm just trying to run at them. That's it, boys. Keep riding through them. Infantry, advance! Finish them! Enemy archers being run down by what remains of our cavalry force, while the last remnants of their infantry are swept away. I was about to know where that guy lives, but then he lived. Oh, there we go. Archers got him. Woo! Another victory for House Blackfire and the new Targaryen dynasty. We subdued Dawn. We will subdue House Baratheon. And then we will take the Iron Throne in the greatest final battle that has ever occurred. For glory! Alright, warriors, another great battle against the bastard forces of Renly Baratheon. They've once again gone for the settlement of Bronze Gate, which we so recently gave to the great man John Connington, supporter of House Blackfire since the early days when we served Aegon, the jerk of his name. Now, we must reposition our forces. Well, I don't see any point in repositioning. They're probably not going to come to us. We're going to go a very similar strategy to what we'd normally do. Spread out our archers so that we get a good rate of fire into the enemy. Like that. Have our infantry move up behind. Spread them out a little bit like that. Horse archers here. Normal cavalry there. Right, cavalry defend my flanks. The enemy have any horse archers? They have one. Their infantry is closing the distance, so they may actually come to us. Although they look like they're running to the side, not at us. 72 damage. This guy's very close to dead. I remember this guy, Lord Tolland. Oh, Lady Tolland. Oh no, Lady Tolland. That didn't look good. Right, the cavalry has collided. The enemy army will be forced to march to us because they've positioned themselves in range of our archers. Giving us the perfect opportunity to just fire shots at them from over here. 
Ah, oh, excellent. And soon enough we will have their attention. I think we've got their attention. Are they running to us or away from us? Yeah, no, they're running to us. Oh, what a hero play from that random knight that just caught that with his shield as he went past. We're thinning them out, lads. Their forces can't take much more of this. Oh, got him. Oh, that was my own man. Got him. Infantry. Commit. Archers. Pull your line back. King's Guard, or Gold Cloak, sorry. Must be dealt with swiftly. King's Guard Initiate, down. We'll break the enemy line and push to the archers next. There is no escape, good sir. None. You will fall by my hand. You have no Robert to ensure your victory anymore. And without Robert and Stannis, there is no one suited to leading the Baratheon house. And I'm pretty sure Gendry's currently off as a companion somewhere, so he's sure as heck not helping them. Ooh, got him. Ooh, got him. Oh, he stole my kill. Hey, there's a guy over here just slowly backing away. He's like, maybe, maybe, if I just walk backwards, they won't notice I'm retreating. See? They never knew. Oh, God. How did he find me? A few guys here. I'm just going to chase them down and fill them full of arrows. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, at the next siege, which will be the last of the episode. Tragically, I'm having a great time. Woo! That guy down. Woo! That guy down. Lord Velaris, the famous archer and knight. Alright, boys. We're back. Ready to defend the... Well, not defend. We're ready to attack the great castle of Felwood. Once it has fallen, the Baratheons should be ready to bend the knee to us. Just what I've always wanted. Baratheons groveling at my feet. Alright, men, let's move in for a closer look. Our archer boys, firing their shot. Oh, dear lord. Someone's clearly back on that ballista. Yep, and he's off. Oh no, he's not off. No, I can't even get at him. The angle is terrible. Moving on up, bump, ba bump, bump. Moving on up, bump, bump, ba bump, bump. We get like a really good angle down here. That would be cool. Up a little higher. Nah, I just can't hit him from here. Bring up the tower, lads. I plan to crush the enemy. Whoever just fired at me was a real douche move. And he just dies and falls on the uh, ballista. Men! We've taken much land from the Baratheons, but I must ask one more of you. We must take Castle Felwood. And to bring it to its knees. Onwards! Into the castle! Climb the ladders! Get up there, you fool!
Is that guy just jump? Get back up there, coward! I don't have any room for cowards in my army. Get up there! It's a question of loyalty. Who are you loyal to, the Baratheons or me? If you're loyal to me, you will climb up there and fight to the death for your king. Lady Brienne could teach you a thing or two. She has fought to the death many times for me. Alright. I'm going up, boys. Let your king lead you to glory. Charge! It's clear we lack a solid swordsman up on this wall, or it would be ours already. Yeah! There's no one to kill by the time I got up here. Archers spread out through the courtyard. Fire down on them. Hello there. Hello there. General Kenobi. No archer will be spared from my sword, or my bow, or his axe. Hey you! Stop shooting at my men! Hey you! Stop shooting at my men! Enemies on the far side end right there, alright. Well, can't allow them to exist. Going in, boys. I'm gonna clear this tower. Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are dragons! Kill them all, men. Leave none alive. No mercy. Cobra Kai never dies. Just threw that man off a wall. And he's alive. Excuse me? Excuse me? There we go. Problem solved. Jesus. It's like the guy wanted to live or something. It's just something not right about that. Um... Uh, you. Anyone else hiding on this tower? Yes. You coward. Your brothers fall while you hide up here doing nothing to help them. I see you. Come on. Well, that hit him. Damn, that long range though. Oh, he's screwed. I just watched a bunch of guys run up behind him. Victory, men! Another castle has fallen to our soldiers. And what a beautiful castle it is. Much nicer lands than what we, than what we are used to. What is floating over there? Huh. Floating rocks. Definitely don't have that in Essos. Alright men, one final blow must be dealt to the enemy. And it is the destruction of their remaining two armies. Do we even have the manpower to win this? The question does, does loom. Don't involve yourself yet, men. 398 infantry, 41 archers, 15 cav, 390... These are... Did these two armies are different, sir. What? what? Uh, for... They have 398 infantry. And this one, the Conningtons, have 260... Okay, so they have, like, no archers. We have a lot of archers, and not much infantry left. I have my concerns. <laughs> now, if I break into the castle, can we... Will they run away? They will. Alright, let us return to Bronze Gate. Uh, we'll leave. Let's see. Will you face us in the field? Knowing that my army is just as capable... They're actually kind of scared of us. It's an equal battle. You know we are at war. Surrender or die. Sorry, Melissa. Maybe if you had served 
they're John Connington, not whatever absolute blasphemous fool runs your faction, then you would be serving the true king. This is interesting. We left the desert, but we're back. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. One final lesson must be taught to the, these Baratheon dogs. Let us show them that superior archers is all that matters. And that infantry is but a part of the war machine. Now, I'm pretty sure that most of their infantry are absolute peasants as far as skill goes. Because if they were, you know, good infantry, they wouldn't have so many of them. It's just how that works. Everyone, just get in formation. Fire your many arrows. The enemy has very, very, very few cavalry units. We will be able to cause a lot of damage to the oncoming infantry as soon as they crest this peak. And here they go, there's 666 of them. At the time of me saying that, let's see how many they end up with by the time they meet, get to our force. Here they come. Their forces are lining up, ready to charge. Footmen! I actually want my footmen to form up a nice cluster. <clears throat> I don't want them so spread out. I want the enemy units to swarm into the middle and try to surround my infantry. If they do that, I'll be a happy camper. They're down to 550. We've reduced at least 100 of their soldiers so far. Shield wall. Hold your ground, lads. Even against such superior numbers, we still have the odds in our favor. Our archers are the greatest warriors in the world. Combinations from every corner of the realm. You should not have let an army into my land, Cersei. You will never be queen of the Seven Kingdoms, not while a true Targaryen heir still rides. Horse may be lame, but I still ride. But I fear not a lame horse, but I fear the wounded heart of a falling kingdom. Ah, so many Baratheons falling. Like leaves in the autumn months, they fall. Infantry, commit forces! Horse archers, get in there! Our archers once again prove themselves superior. Damn crossbow. I ain't going out like Tywin. Ain't happening. You can't crossbow me on the toilet, fool. Middle of the battlefield? 100%. That's why you're dying. Must kill you before you're a threat to me. If I am to fall, it will be to a Baratheon crossbow. Not to a sword. Or even a spear. Damn, this person is holding their ground. And they're down. <laughs> Victory, men! Another great battle. Alright, men. That's where we end the episode. We have fought hard and claimed many lands from the enemy. We are now one march along the road and a crossing of a bridge from taking the goal of the series. King's Landing and the Iron Throne within it will be ours. Join us next time as we declare war 
on the great clan... Well, technically the Westerlands at the moment is who owns it, but we will be declaring war against Joffrey Baratheon, who is supported by Tywin Lannister. And he will fall. The lion is fearsome indeed, but nothing to the ferociousness, furiosity of a dragon. Bye for now, not forever. If you enjoyed this content, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new here, boys. See ya.